So lately, I've been looking at a bunch of new cars. For example, the new Nissan Z seems like a pretty awesome car. The Toyota GR Corolla seems super awesome. It's pretty much a rally Corolla. How could you not like it? Even the new Ford Maverick seems like a pretty decent little pickup truck. New cars are safer, faster, and have better technology than ever before, but they're also heavier. A lot heavier. So today what we're doing is building the lightest car possible. We don't need any of that fancy safety technology. We don't need Apple CarPlay and we don't need automatic braking. What we do need is lightness and lightness only. What's going on guys? My name is Rai and welcome back to another automation video. So what we're doing is building the lightest car possible. This car is going to be lighter than any car ever before. Anyways, first things first, let's go ahead and find ourselves the perfect body. Now, I'm not a stickler to the rules. There are no rules when it comes to perfection. So what we're doing is using mod bodies or standard bodies. We're using any kind of body we have. What we're going to do is just lower the slider here. Well, we've got two beautiful bodies here. We got this bumper car, which doesn't really look like a car to me. And it's actually heavier than this body, which is the uh, PLP 50, which is obviously famous for being the greatest car of all time. I would describe it as the absolute ultimate, really, of... Um... So the only goal here is to make the lightest car possible. There are no rules on anything else. Budget is absolutely whatever we want. We can have anything we want. It's just got to be as light as possible. And this is what we're starting with. It is basically a, a block of cheese with four wheels and two doors. It's actually got two doors, which is honestly kind of fancy if you ask me. So carbon fiber chassis panel material, monocoque chassis type, carbon fiber. This is going to be this is going to be the most high tech low tech car that there ever was and i am all here for it to be honest it's gonna be i think rear engines lighter we'll double check later on push rod front mcpherson struts in the rear we do have a warning here it says one or more quality settings are causing very high costs it's fine you know what this is fine what what's the other thing rear tires are very narrow yeah that's fine we, we we're not we're not it's fine it doesn't need to drive good it just needs to drive three cylinder magnesium it's gonna be a push rod magnesium three cylinder with max quality but the tiniest three cylinder possible. So 295 cc's, no balance shafts, nothing here. We're gonna go for the best here though and lower the bearing capacity down. We are going to de-stroke and de-bore to a 200 cc three cylinder, which is probably a horrible combination, but it's gonna be fine guys. Don't worry, don't worry. Increase the quality here, increase this to 100 and 115. There are no rules, guys. I want this thing to be as fast as possible while also being as light as possible. But lights first, speed is second. 110 octane leaded fuel because leaded fuel gang. Max quality. Um, I think long tubular is the lightest. Let's go for the smallest exhaust and nothing and nothing in the highest quality. So the engine weighs 46 pounds. This and I can curl this engine with one arm. I can lift this engine. I can lift two of these engines up, probably at least. Maybe, maybe three. I, I, I don't know. Am I strong? I have no idea, to be honest. 25 horsepower and 13 pound feet of torque. Peak horsepower is at 10,500 RPM. That sounds perfectly reasonable, if you ask me. And it's leaded fuel because environment. And just make this thing a little smaller. That'll save. Just a bit of weight. Now, it's not going to be the prettiest car. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's not going to be... <laughs> why, why is that a thing? I, I can do that, and it looks a little better, but, like, light, you know? It's got to be light, guys, okay? This car has to... It just has to be. There's no other requirements, okay? Let me let me do what I got to do. <laughs> Drivetrain, rear wheel, manual, four speed, max top speed. Actually, just kidding. We don't need that. LSDs don't actually add weight, so we're going to keep it with that. Highest quality. Might as well go for semi-slicks and let's go for the... Oh, we messed up. That's 85 cc. That's 85 tires. I can't go back down to 70. 70 is what we had. It was lighter. Oh, no. Have I already messed up the build? I've already messed up the build. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I rebuilt the entire car again. Back to a four speed. Everything is fine. I just restarted everything. You know, it's it's okay. There's 60 tires now. Oh, well, is, that, is it actually smaller than what it was? I don't know. Either way, we're going to make this smaller as well. Carbon fiber and plus 15 quality, carbon ceramic one piston, and we're going to go for the smallest possible. We'll see what seats are the best, but it's either one or plus two, plus 15 quality, nothing, sure. Um, We'll go for this, and we'll do a race tune, because we can, and then increase the quality. So right off the bat here, no fine tuning, and there will be fine tuning. 258 pounds, 
So we are not at our goal yet, but we are close. 258 pounds is the size of a large man. I also want to point out that this car actually doesn't have like a terrible power to weight ratio. So if it weighed 1,000 pounds, it would have 100 horsepower. If it weighed 2,000 pounds, it would have 200 horsepower. If it weighed 3,000 pounds, it would have 300 horsepower. So it's actually like a pretty reasonable power to weight ratio. It's, it's, I think it's pretty close to like a Ford Mustang GT and things like that. I also want to point out that this thing has negative downforce front and rear. So it's got lift, which is going to be useful probably to lift this car off the ground. It's very heavy. It's got a terrible braking distance. It's got no brake fade though. So that's, that's good. That's good. That's good, right? Uh, it is, <laughs> it, it cannot corner apparently at all also apparently the rear tires are going to blow out and that's um that's a problem for later that's that's a, that's a problem for some other time 7.3 seconds to 100 that's actually a pretty reasonable 0 to 100 speed um so 60 millimeter tires which is little tiny tires the wheels are way way bigger than the tires so i think what we'll do now is design the car in a time lapse. I'm gonna go over exactly how I design this car. And if I do any engineering tweaks, I'll let you guys know as well. And then we'll hop straight into BMG and we will drive this car into an early grave. Because quite frankly, it's probably gonna deserve it. So sit back, relax, guys, and of course, I hope you enjoy. All right, so we are building my very, very light, very, very small little coupe. Is this a coupe? I don't actually know what this car is. It's going to be based off my Bada brand, which is my Soviet sort of weird communist kind of brand. It's got these two little headlamps. We got this sort of slotted kind of grill in the front with this happy face underneath, adding some very simple turn signals. And we have a sort of a skid plate and a, a brush bar in front. I don't know why. Uh, we added one single mirror. We are changing the tire size. Just in the editor, it actually doesn't change the weight in automation or BMG as far as I know. Uh, we added some knobs for door handles, we added some tail lights, we added a rear bumper, a license plate, and now we're sort of just going through and tweaking the car itself. Um, I'm thinking of a name at the same time. We did settle on the name Bada Fantastica, which means fantastic um, in, in like Russian as, as far as I know, so it's it's pretty great. We have a Fantastica 200 badge on the back with a gas cap because that's obviously what you need for a car. Adding one single seat in the middle as well as this very flat sort of floor for no reason and a steering wheel that doesn't actually connect to anywhere because honestly, I, I don't think anyone's going to steer this car in the first place. This car is literally a shoebox and one simple exhaust tip. And in front of us is the 2020 Bada Fantastica 200. Yeah, I, I think this is fine. I think this is very fine. Um, we got some errors on the side there. What if we just like respawn the car? It just, no, just. No, oh no, it's, I, I open Microsoft Teams. Oh no, you guys can't see it, but it's, oh, I'm signing the Microsoft. Why do I have Microsoft? What's happening? All right, so. Okay, Microsoft Teams crashed. Two hours later. So I, I've got the car working and it's here. I, I changed the suspension to solid axle coils because there's sort of an issue with this body and it doesn't like anything besides solid axles. So it's, it's a little heavier because of that, but it's still 260 pounds in automation. It's about 310 or so pounds now uh, with the solid axle suspension. So it's also now front engine, rear wheel drive, solid axles, still a four speed manual. So it's about 310 pounds. So it's still the lightest in automation, but BMG, it'll be a bit different because this body, yeah, it, it actually doesn't even sit right. Look, look how weird it sits. This is not how a car should sit. Um, it does sound pretty good though. It also has this massive plume of smoke coming out of the exhaust. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like that's, um, that's probably not how cars should work, but it's fine. It's fine. The roof is looking mighty fine as well. The um, the kinks probably could be worked out, but that's that's an issue for uh, another day. This is a Bada, obviously. This is the best that um, the Soviets have to offer, and I expect nothing better than the absolute best. 
So anyways, uh, if we go to this camera here, we can actually drive the Fantastica 200. Um, the, the car actually looks pretty good in BMG. The front looks pretty reasonable. <laughs> it doesn't drive good. It's actually surprisingly fast. And it feels... Oh, okay. We're learning don't break. We're learning do not break. Oh my god. What is this? That is not supposed to happen. Okay. Oh god. I don't know what's happening. I can't- Oh no. <laughs> no. That's not- What is that? That's not working. Come on, launch it in first. Oh no, are, are we broken? It's broken. Okay. Attempt number 36 at this point for a bit of a bit of a launch. Is it fine? Is everything fine? Okay, it looks fine. Oh god, we're going fast. Oh no. Oh, break. We're good. I love how it bobs like this. Look at this. That's exactly how a car should be. I just want you guys to see. That was a light impact from like, what, 40 kilometers an hour? I don't even know. And the entire chassis is just twisted. It's bent. It's literally crooked. So we're at the drag strip, and I haven't touched anything yet. And the car... <laughs> I'm not touching anything. Yeah, I don't think the vehicle likes any of this. This car is absolute torture. It's torture to itself. It's torture to everyone. Except for the Soviet people. The Soviet people love the Fantastica. Because it's obviously f fantastic. Uh, um, we're going to do a drag race. I want to see what this thing can do. We're going to reset it. And just launch it. Look at that plume of just smoke. Look at that. That's just that's lovely. We're gonna launch it here in first gear. It's turning. It's turning. No, no, no! Please, please, just work. Attempt number three hundred thousand at this point. We're gonna launch it nice and slow. And we're flooring it now. I couldn't get a good 0 to 60 time, but we are, it's about 9 seconds, if we look at the top right there, it's about 9 seconds to 0 to 100. A very light car, like a very light, um, very light acceleration. We definitely could have got faster. 16.9. That's not bad. That's not, actually, it's terrible. That's not, that's not good at all. Uh, we're going to try again here. And that was about 8.5. That was actually pretty reasonable. That wasn't terrible. This, this thing has got 25 horsepower, which is nuts, obviously. Straight up nuts for a 300 pound car. Let's keep going a free room here, and let's see if we can stop the car. We could not. And I want to see uh, what this thing actually does. Because if it's pretty close to 310, that means it weighs about 3. The other one weighs about 260 in automation. Let's try how much this one weighs. Alright, so 390 pounds, so it's off by about 30% or so. So, it's all about 30%, so our 260-pound car would weigh about 320 pounds or so, which is still obviously incredibly light. I just like how it just did that. I, I didn't even do anything. It just it just fell off. It just fell off. This is, this, is, this is what peak Soviet engineering is like, guys. So now we are in the beautiful countryside of somewhere in, in Soviet Russia, and it's definitely not Italy. We are definitely not in the Italy map. This is definitely Russia, guys, as you can tell by the um, beautiful Soviet buildings. Exactly. See? There's no one around, just like Soviet Russia. Anyways, we're going to do two laps in this track. It's a very small track. This car is not good in any way, shape, or form, which means it's perfect for this track. As you can see, it's slowly just turning left. Um, again, I don't know why that happens, and I, I, I couldn't be bothered to, to check. Okay, it's actually, it's, it's doing fine. As long as we don't brake too hard, accelerate too hard, turn too hard, um, basically do anything here, uh, we'll be fine. Oh, we're gonna turn. Oh, God. We've already run into an issue. Please, no, no. I regret having slick tires in this thing, to be honest. We're still good. Can I make it back? That was a treat. The radiator's leaking great. We're good. Okay. It's a bit of a ditch. We're good. Come on. We're good. <laughs> this is torture. This is absolute torture. Okay, it's smoking a little bit. I don't know what just... I don't know what just happened. I think the radiators exploded on us. Which, honestly, I, I we don't really need that anyways. The car is just furiously smoking as we're flying down these beautiful Soviet streets. Oh god, why is it... Why is it... Oh! 
Oh, the axles are looking a little weird. Oh, we can't really turn. Oh, we're good. Oh, my steering wheel is shaking. Oh, why doesn't the tire turn? Oh no! Oh god, this is fine. This is the this this is the car that could. We're good. We're good. No, 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 no. I feel like walking would probably probably be a better option for um this race. Let's go, baby. Somehow that actually wasn't too terrible. All right. We got a time of 1 minute and 23.2 seconds, which is actually my third best time ever. I mean, I've only ever done three times, but, you know, it's 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 still the third. Now, I know what you're saying, guys. Why would we jump test the most fantastic car of all time? I, I guess, why not at that point, honestly, guys? I know it might be a cardinal sin to jump test this car, but we're going to do it anyways. If you guys want to download this car, I'll leave a download link for this version down below if you guys want to check it out. This is the one with the stalled axles and the front engine rear wheel drive because the base automation car just don't doesn't actually work. If you guys made a lighter car, let me know in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to hearing how light of cars you guys have made. I like it with idles at 2700 RPM. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of cars you want me to build next, guys. I'm always open to new ideas. Oh, this is terrifying. And join my Discord link in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you next time. Oh, we're gliding. Oh, we're good. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, he hit the sign.